Right, I went shopping at the weekend and got myself one of these, a Shoei X0, which is pretty cool. There'll be a video about that soon because it's not going to stay white like that. <laughs> Actually, I'd really like it white, but that's not going to make good content keeping it white. What else have I got? I got one of these, went to Rusty and Dusty Swap Meet, got myself a bike rack, so that's going on the bobber. And I also got a boost gauge as well. That's going on the bobber as well. You'll find out more about that later too. But for now, we're going to get to work making this fit the bike. This is fairly close to fitting, it just needs little tweaks here and there. Give it a bit of that. And a bit of that. And a little bit of that. So that fits in there quite nice. So now, it needs to be quite high because the fender is going to come up like this rather than having it sitting down like that. I see a lot of people with racks actually on the fender but whatever you've got in there is going to get shaken to death because it's bolted directly to the wheel. So I think this is a better way to go. So I really need to bend them down a bit. Well I might not be able to bend this. I might have to make a bender to do this properly. Might be right. We'll see. Oh, that's all right. It's not too fucked up. Right, let's try that. In there. Not really enough clearance there yet. I could actually angle that up like that. It's not a problem. I'll bend that more, get closer to the seat. I can go a bit more, I reckon. So what I've got here is one of my bags, because I made these, I made just bent up this bar work a while back. It sort of just goes like that, what the bags fit on. Just like the original ones they charge you like $190 for, and they, they fit there like that, and then my rack's gonna go here. So we're gonna fit these on. It's a little bit of a pain in the bum, it doesn't take long, it's just this 12mm bolt here is awkward to get to behind the exhaust. It's alright when the bag's not there, but once you've got the bag on it's not very easy to get to. It's a bit of a fiddle. So I use the original bolt, threaded bolt holes in the frame behind the earlet. They're very handy they are. And this hard bit. And that bolt through there and the exhaust while the exhaust is on. I need to make an easier way of doing this, I think. It shoots me doing this. And that went in easier than I thought it was going to. You can't get a socket on it. I might actually extend that so I can actually put a bolt on here and just ride around with it bit on there, I don't know. But now my bike rack's going to go on here and it's going to fix on to the original bolt holes there as well. Right, so my bike rack will fit on them bolts there, like that. And it's independent from this, so suspension can go up and down. Because normally they're they're attached to that and that's going to shake everything to death whatever you keep in them. I was going to put two bars going down to my bag holders to, to actually secure this but now I've decided I think I'm going to go to the seat somehow so that it's independent from these so I can have it on the bike without these as well and I've still got right and I've still got the little hole there from when I did the sprung seat the shock absorber for that so I'm going to utilize them holes there for the bike rack.
I don't know if anyone is familiar with my past hole drilling experience, but I've now been kindly donated one of these little guys. So I can use my drill press now. Still, still not having a lot of luck. I've yet to find a drill where a chuck key actually fits it. I'm still not quite there with drilling holes, eh? Maybe a bit of lubricant. But, let's have a look at this. Right, well, getting the hang of this hole drilling business. Right, let's use a bit of lubricant this time. Not too tight, I don't want to break my break my voice like I have done in the past. This seat is gonna need I'm going to need to finish this paint job once I've done everything. I never did finish it and it's got a bit beaten up from all the work I've done on various things with the seat. So when this is done, it's going to have a nice freshen up and a new paint job. Because it looks like crap right now. Right, so I'll flatten the ends of them over. And that is going to go that and then the other one will go in there like that
So it just needs a little something else as well. We'll put that together now, if I can remember how it goes. If you're wondering what I welded those nuts on the luggage rack for, it's for this here. Oh well. 